welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I do to entertain my toddler. I figured that this video might be helpful for other moms out there who are trying to find ways to entertain their kids while they're home during this time. So I thought I would share with you what works for us. I have a 23 month old, she'll be two next month. And I know that every kid is different and what I do might not work for you and your kids but you might be able to try some of these things out, experiment a little bit, and maybe it'll make your life a little bit easier right now. So, yep, yeah, we will go ahead and get into it. Hey, how was your dad calling you? Why was he calling me? <laughs> he demanded. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. I know, me and you are on the same page. I guess dad was a little out of the loop phone call is going to be featured in my YouTube video because I was already filming. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> Here, hold on. Let me... Oh, your dad says he's going to cut your Chick-fil-A fund in a few years. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm not saying hi to YouTube. <laughs> Bye. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the way because it can be kind of controversial, but that is Noelle's tablet. So this tablet is from Amazon. It's the Amazon Fire Kids tablet. It comes with this very, very protective case in case your toddler will throw it around or whatever. And it is a real tablet. That's why it is controversial. Um, some parents don't want to let their kids have any screen time, which is fine. I'm not judging that. For me and my family, it's been a huge lifesaver. And we do limit her time. And the good thing about this is that it lets you set time limits for how long they can use it or whatever. And it'll shut off or lock when it's done. And if you wanted to open it back up, you would put in the password that you provide for it. So we usually give her about an hour a day and it's really good for in the morning time. I don't know, just for us, it's like a really good start to our day. And I will link this and everything else I mentioned down below if you are interested in checking any of these things out. But yeah, this is the first way you can keep your toddler entertained. It really does work, at least for mine, and keeps her pretty glued to it for at least an hour when you kind of ease into everything. Or if you wanted to give it to them later and just sit down for a second, that's fine too. So the next thing is books. Noelle is really into books, even if she doesn't like, well, obviously she can't read yet, but she does like to open them up and look at it and like name the shapes or the colors or numbers or whatever is in the book. She does like to look at the pictures, turn the pages like she's actually reading it. And we read them to her periodically throughout the day because she really does enjoy books in general. So I do think it is a good idea to get them hooked onto books at an early age. So the next thing I'm going to mention that my daughter is currently obsessed with is this slide rocker thing. To be honest, I'm pretty terrified of it. My mom just recently got it for her and she's absolutely obsessed with it. She loves to slide right now. Like whenever she goes to her friend's house, she's always wanting to go on the slide swing combo thing that they have. And she always goes for the slide. So this is definitely something that you'd want to keep your eye on at all times. Do not leave your child alone doing this, especially when you have a toddler as young as mine. But she'll literally just go up and down the slide over and over and over until she falls over basically. <laughs> But the cool thing about this slide is that it actually flips over and turns into like a little rocking frog thing. Which is also terrifying because if you're not watching, they might be able to, you know, flip over, flip it backwards. But it is a good way to keep them active and entertained for a little while while you obviously keep a close eye on them. The next thing that my daughter loves is this watercolor pen thing. <laughs> I don't really know exactly what it's called. It was a gift, but she does love it and we do plan on getting her more for her birthday coming up. 
but yeah it's just this cool thing where you have a pen filled with water i'm pretty sure it's like dried up now or like the tip is worn down because she used it so much so we're gonna have to get her more anyway but you fill up the marker with water and then you draw on this pad that will reveal colors as you draw on it with the marker and she can't draw on it with anything else because it's literally just water it's good when you don't want things to be so messy like actual markers or crayons which i don't tend to go for because they do make a mess and she will draw on everything other than the paper so this is just a good idea to keep things clean and my toddler is really into coloring right now so this is a good way for her to be entertained as well the one that we currently have is just blank and she can draw whatever she wants on it I'm probably going to be getting her some actual books that have um, pictures in it that she can color and will reveal like this certain color as she puts the water pen on it. And I think she'll really enjoy those too. The next thing I'm going to mention is this car that she has. <laughs> Again, my daughter is really into dangerous things, so don't do this without supervision. Obviously, you know this already. But she has this little car that she loves to sit on and sometimes she pushes it and she just ride around the house in it. It's just a little tiny car that has a back that you can push if you wanted to bend down and push it. I usually don't. She do it herself. It's fine. And sometimes she'll put her toys on it and push it around. And Which brings me to my next thing, which is the shopping cart that she loves to put things in and push around. And she does have little food sets that she likes to put in there. Like she's actually going shopping at the grocery store, so it's really cute. She's at an age now where she's really starting to play pretend and stuff and use her imagination so that's been really fun but yeah sort of the same concept with the car and the shopping cart she just likes to ride around the house push them around you know that kind of thing so it's good for when you have like a really active toddler who needs to get some energy out the next thing is puzzles noelle is really into puzzles right now she's getting to the age now where she can actually like put them together not like actual little puzzles like learning kid puzzles where you put the shapes or whatever into the slots that they go in. She loves those right now. She's getting really good at them. I'm going to be showing you just a few of the ones that she has. We're going to be getting her more because she's really into like putting those together. She feels really happy and like proud of herself when she completes them. And it's a good way for her to learn while still having fun. So yeah, we really like puzzles for her. The ones that she currently has are kind of like beat up a little because she just she uses them so much which is probably a good thing but yeah we're gonna have to replace those before they like completely fall apart and normally we'll just put her like at her table and chairs this is another good thing that we've done for her is get her her own table and chairs she loves to sit at this table and eat like her meals there or do her puzzles there or play with toys there she'll put her babies there and everything just her having her own space like that out in like the living room kitchen area has been a really good idea next is baby dolls <laughs> she is so obsessed with babies she has to have one with her pretty much at all times she'll put her in the shopping cart she'll put her at her table in her seat in her little brother's swing or anywhere she's got her babies with her and she's playing with them she recently got like the american girl doll version baby version and it comes with all these accessories she has a changing table for it and clothes and a bed and everything and she she loves it she loves to play mommy to her babies because she sees me i think with her baby brother all the time and she gets those ideas and she mimics those with her baby dolls and it's really cute but yeah having baby dolls and just having like those accessories has been great and with those, you can kind of just build on that and maybe get like the baby doll more accessories or whatever so you don't have to buy like the big things, you know? So that is definitely something that I recommend if you have a baby girl. So this next thing may sound kind of strange, but one big way that I can entertain my toddler is with her shoes. So we leave all of her shoes in the bottom drawer of her dresser and the other two drawers are locked so she can't get into them and pull like everything out of them but her shoes we leave open so she can pull them out and do with them as she pleases 
and she loves to put them on. She loves to play dress up with her shoes. She'll put on different shoes, walk around the house. It just makes her feel, I don't know, it just makes her feel like she's ready to go and she's ready to take on the day. And I think it also makes her feel kind of grown up because she can put them on herself now most of the time. Most of her shoes she can put on herself. So just giving her access to all her shoes and she has a lot, let me tell you. <laughs> Whatever I've shown you in that video clip is not all of her shoes. They are like scattered around everywhere. <laughs> And it's not even just her shoes. She likes to put on my shoes. She likes to put on her dad's shoes. If people come over, she'll put on their shoes. She just loves shoes. She's definitely a girly girl. Which brings me to my next thing, which is purse and accessories. This girl has a lot of purses. I don't know where she gets it from. It must have just been like bred into her. I don't know because I don't carry purses. And obviously her dad doesn't carry purses either. There's not many people in my family that actually carry like big purses, but she just loves them. She's always loved them. And she has one that came with a whole bunch of accessories. Like it has a fake phone, a credit card, lipstick, keys, the whole shebang. Unfortunately, we cannot find that right now. I don't know where it went. I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere. <laughs> We're always losing things from her. But yeah, she loves to carry a purse, especially when we go out places. We ask her if she wants her purse and she says yes. So we go ahead and grab her her purse with all of our accessories in it and she goes off to church or the grocery store or wherever. So this next thing I think is kind of perfect for like this time of year when it's starting to get a little warmer, especially if you're where I am in Florida. It's hot. <laughs> it's summer already basically. And that is her splash pad. We just recently got this as well when it started getting warmer. And we've been stuck at home right now so it's been really great to have but it's just this little pad, obviously, that you stick the hose in and water shoots out of little sprinklers on the side. It comes with a little slide that, like I mentioned before, she loves slides. <laughs> and it's a little bit safer, I think, because we're outside and she's not gonna bonk her head on something. And as you can see, the one that we got is not very big and you don't need it to be very big for your toddler to get entertained. Honestly, you don't need this giant sl inflatable slide thing with giant um, inflatables. You don't need all of that. You just need like a tiny little thing with water. Even if you just had a sprinkler, like I feel like all kids love water in general. So even just like hooking up your sprinkler and letting them run around outside in that is just a really fun activity for them. So sticking with outdoor activities, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is chalk. This is a new discovery for her. We already knew that she loved a color. So we went ahead and gave her some chalk recently. It's a great way to kind of keep her in one spot instead of just running off and doing other things and you have to worry about her running into the road. This is a good way to keep them contained, especially if your kids like to color too. And she always wants me to color with her and I think it's just like a fun activity for you and your family to do together. And it gets you outside and everything. So yeah, definitely recommend chalk. Also, it's not like super messy, like it gets all over you, but it's easily washable so you don't really have to worry about it. And the last thing I'm going to talk about are like these little, I don't even know like the texture I want to say, but they're like little soft ball things. <laughs> they're actually Caleb's, they're for when he's wanting to learn different textures. <laughs> Look, Caleb, look! <laughs> and they're easy for him to hold on to and chew. But it's not even just that, it's just balls in general. My daughter just loves to throw them around, whether it's big, small. She's got like this little plastic princess ball that she loves to throw around. And she likes to throw them with me and her dad. And yeah, just balls of any kind <laughs> are fun. Maybe I shouldn't include this one in the video. But it's true though, she likes them. <laughs> so that is it, that is everything that I could think of that my daughter absolutely loves to play with and how to keep her entertained and everything. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope it wasn't super obvious to you. So yeah, once again, I will link everything that I mentioned down below if you wanna check it out for yourselves. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. My husband just went by the window and looked at me. I think <laughs> he's outside working in the yard. Anyway, please subscribe 
to see my future videos. I would really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.